The name of this film is, Damper. First of all, let me tell you what it means. Vampires who end and drink the blood of humans, and the one who ends them is called, Damper. They are the enemies of vampires. That's why they hunt them. The film starts with a desolate place in which a woman is not feeling well because she has to give birth to a child. She was crying and calling her husband's name. After it, the woman's husband was shown running fast in the forest on a horse because he was coming this way to his house. He was the lord of the night, who is also called a fighter warrior and is good at fighting. He also has strength. Now there were three other women with his wife who did not want the lord of the night to come here to his wife. One of them felt that he was near the house. She immediately said he was coming. After saying this, he started doing magic. As her magic was completed, the blue light started to rise all around the house, and a cover was made there. Due to this, he would not be able to come inside, but then the lord of the night reached outside. During this, the child is born, but unfortunately, his mother dies. Then one of them picks up the child. Because of this, the lord of the night got angry. He screamed and started using his strength. From within him, a dangerous red light started coming out, and due to it, that cover broke. The lord of the night started attacking the women with his strength, but they made a cover again and saved their lives. Now the lord of the night says, give me my baby. They reply, we can't give him now, we will keep it with us until he is young, until he is not able to take its decision. Now this child was the son of the lord of the night. That's why he was born a damper. He must also have magical powers like his father. Due to this, he will be powerful. After this, the scene shifts to some soldiers who had come to investigate a city, but the city was in a bad state, as if this place were a graveyard, because everywhere the corpses were spread and they were brutally killed. So all the soldiers started their work. They came from there to a building, but there were also piles of corpses. Then suddenly, an old man comes from behind and stands up, on whom they all pointed guns, but the old man was scared. He says a devil had come here, which means a vampire, and he killed them all badly. He cut them all like carrots. That's why now you have to call the damper here, because he can kill those devils and vampires. But one of them shoots an old man, and he dies. The soldier says it was necessary to shut his mouth. He was talking a little too much. Now we see two friends going somewhere in the car. One friend was a driver, while the other called himself a damper, and this is the main character of the story. He used to drink a lot, and was a drunkard. Now they have reached a village where the driver started giving lectures to everyone and says there is a vampire in your area who is a devil, and you are in danger from him, but don't worry. I have brought a man with me who is the enemy of vampires, and his name is Damper. He will fight the vampire and save you all, but Damper was standing on the side and finishing a bottle of liquor one by one. Actually, they were making them crazy by calling them Damper to get money from them. In fact, that boy was not a Damper, they were doing fraud with people. Now Dampier goes to a door and starts doing strange things. Then he started saying with great confidence that the vampire was dead. You all are not in any danger from now on. Everyone is free. When that soldier was in the city, half of them were inside while two were guarding outside. Now the outsiders heard a girl's voice who was calling for help. They start coming towards her, and now as a soldier comes close to her, it is found that she is not an ordinary girl but a vampire. Seeing them, she takes out her long nails and cuts off one of their throats. After hearing his voice, the other soldiers also came out and started shooting the vampire girl. There was another vampire with her, and both of them were very dangerous. Although the soldiers were so many and they were being shot at. Only these two vampires were not being controlled by anyone and killed four minus five soldiers. They drink their blood. Now, when they left, the head told his commander. We have to call a damper to kill these vampires, and I also know a damper. Hearing this, the commander says, have you gone mad? What nonsense are you talking about? There is no damper, the head says, sir. There is. Didn't you see that we fired blind bullets at them but it didn't affect them, so how will you save us? Listen to me and call that damper. I know him very well. The commander agrees and sends some soldiers to that fake damper, that drunkard who was burying a girl's corpse. The soldiers come to her, catch the damper and her friend, and bring them to the commander. The commander says to the damper, I don't know who you are but tell me, how do vampires die? Hearing this, the damper raid, what nonsense are you talking? There are no vampires, I just make people mad by doing such stupid things to take money from them. To which the head says no, sir, he is hiding, he is the damper, the one who hunts vampires. The proof of this is that I have known him for a long time, but he doesn't grow old. He is always young. The commander says, okay, let's check this thing tonight. And now he puts the damper on the chair outside to guard tonight with the thought that if the vampire comes and ends him, then he will be a common man. But if he kills the vampire, then he will really be a damper. And even sitting outside at night, the damper enjoys drinking a lot. Then suddenly, he heard a voice from inside the building. When he went inside to check, there was the same vampire girl who traps him, hugs him, and now, by pulling out her big teeth, starts sucking his blood. She starts getting hurt and throws the damper away because he really had the blood of the damper. The vampire girl says the fragrance of the damper's blood is coming from you. Tell me, who are you? By now, the damper gets scared. He starts running away from there, but then some vampires come and block his way. They start attacking him, but he is a damper, and the vampires who touch him start burning. They burn to ashes, and all of them die. Now we see the king of vampires, named Gorka. He also had powers, with the help of which he had control over the minds of all the vampires. He tells all the vampires that you could not fight that dragon, so come back. 
Well, he asks the vampire girl to stay there and keep an eye on the damper, because Gorka had controlled their mind. He could see everything there while staying in his place through these people. This is the reason that he leaves the vampire girl near the damper. The next morning, the commander came out with his companions to see what had happened last night. He found the burned dead bodies of the vampires. That's why he went straight to the damper and asked, how did you kill all of them? The damper replies that a vampire companion of all of them is also present inside and has become my friend. That's why now the commander goes inside the building with his team. His team was very scared and said we should not go inside, let's go back. Who fought with the devils, but the commander does not listen to them, goes inside the building, and here his team deceives him. They get scared to see the vampire girl. They say to the commander, you were fond of coming here, so stay here with this vampire. You will also have Damper and his friend with you, we are leaving. After saying this, they locked them up here and started going from here. The Damper tells his driver, look, there is a lot of danger. That's why you two leave with those soldiers, but his friend clearly refused, saying that I would stay here with you but the damper somehow convinced him and sent him with the soldiers. After which the damper started talking to that girl who tells her name Anexa and says I work for Gorka. He can also control my mind. But I am not happy with him at all, and don't want to work with him but want to kill him because he makes me do wrong things, which I don't want to do. The damper asks him, what do you know about me? She says you are the son of the lord of the night. The lord of the night, whoever marries the same people as you, is born as dampers. From this, we understood that at the beginning, the damper child who was born was no one else. But she further says that dampers are dangerous like the lord of the night. It is very difficult to kill them. All the vampires are after you to end you Gorka too, is exactly like this. He wants this and is after you to kill you. He knows that you are here, so now he will do anything to kill you. There. The commander's team was moving ahead from the forest road. Suddenly, a soldier vomits, and when they stop, they realize someone's presence. Now, as they see, there was Gorka. He attacked them suddenly and burned a few soldiers, and he took a few soldiers with him. Damper also starts feeling unwell as he realizes Gorka's presence. He also finds out that Gorka has kidnapped his friends and other soldiers Damper says I have to save my friend somehow, and Anexa says I know where he took them. Now they get ready to go there Anexa covers her face and body because she is a vampire, so she will burn if the sunlight falls on her. After it, the three mean Damper, the commander, and Alexa start their journey while traveling. They get late, so they stay at a place and take a rest. The Damper and the commander were alone. The commander says this girl is a vampire, so I don't believe her. Anexa hears all this even though she was at a far distance, but this was her power that she could hear if someone was talking about her even from a far distance. She says to the commander, if I wanted to end you or harm you, I would have to harm you ten times, so relax. Now that Damper has moved aside and seen his wounds, they are healing themselves. Seeing this Anexa comes to him and says, you might think this strange, but from now on, this will happen to you. Whenever you get hurt, your wounds will recover automatically. On the other side Gorka locked all the soldiers under the commander while chaining them Gorka's companion catches a few soldiers, and Gorka makes them drink his blood, saying that from now on you are my servers which means he has made them vampires too. They were moving ahead, and the commander said, how will we end Gorka and his companions when we enter that city? Because these bullets will not affect them, Damper says no problem. I have a solution for this. He puts all the bullets on the table, and then pours his blood on them. He says now it's okay because the vampires will end after being shot with my blood. Then Anexa says I also need a gun, but the commander misbehaves with her. This makes Anexa furious, and she shows him her power. She holds him upside while pressing him against the wall later. She says I already told you I would have ended you 70 times if I wanted to get it, so, now don't be too smart, just relax. Here, the damper says okay, now end the fight. We have to continue our journey again. They move ahead and reach the city soon. There was destruction in that city, and everyone was scared of the vampire. Anexa says now we will not go from the front but will move inside the buildings. As they move inside the buildings Anexa feels like someone is behind them. She says I discover everything that Gorka has sent his companions behind us. Soon they come in front of them, they were none other than the soldiers of the commander, but now they have become vampires. That's why they were now Gorka's companions. They moved ahead to attack, but as the commander shot a vampire, he got burned because there was damper's blood on it. Now, like this, they burned all the vampires with those bullets. Seeing this, the damper becomes happy and says, look, my blood-coated bullets work, and he also got a bullet in his leg. He sees Anexa has shot this bullet. Now that she moves ahead with a gun, they notice that her eyes have turned black, but she says she is sad. I am not Anexa. But Gorka is making me do all this while controlling my mind. The damper holds her gun and says you are not his slave and can come out of his control. As he says this Anexa gets better after a while. Then she goes to the roof to jump, but she hears a girl's voice calling for help. When she goes to check, two vampires have attacked the girl. Anexa starts fighting with them and cuts their necks with her nails. Due to this, the vampires were ended. Meanwhile, Gorka comes and asks Anexa, why are you cheating me? She says I can't be your slave. I can't be your puppet, whom you make to do everything you want. This makes Gorka furious and he starts beating Anexa and throws her far later, he takes her with him. The damper and the commander start their journey again, and the injury to the damper's leg is fully recovered. Now they reach the place where Gorka was. They were separately checking the building, but the commander feels something and remembers his family because it was Gorka's trap, 
and he was controlling his mind and also locking the commander while getting a chance. As the commander comes to his senses, he finds himself chained and Exo is also hanged in front of him. Meanwhile, the commander's companion comes who is now turned to vampire. He starts hurting Anexa. She burns her with a fireball, and she starts suffering seeing this. The commander becomes furious, and says to his companion, I will not spare you, leave her come fight with me, and the vampire goes to him. Now Anexa gets a chance when they were talking she starts pulling her chain so that it will break, but during this, the vampire stabs his nails in the commander, but before he attacks again Anexa successfully breaks the chain later. She holds the vampire's neck with the chain, and wraps the chain from the other side. As she pulls, the vampire ends there, but here Anexa also becomes unwell. She was about to die. That's when the commander makes her drink his blood due to this. She becomes fine, and they become friends like this. The damper finally reaches Gorka while investigating the building. Seeing him Gorka says, Come boy, I was waiting for you, and then attacks damper with his dangerous powers first. He throws him far and then hits him. The damper was not even able to save himself, but here Gorka stops the fight and says, I want you to meet someone. Then he brings the damper's friend, who has become a vampire and is now in Gorka's control, so he makes him attack the damper. The damper's blood was powerful as it hit his friend. He also burned and died. Gorka says a friend ends another. Meanwhile, he attacks the damper. As he was about to end him with his dangerous powers, the commander and Anexa come from behind. Gorka leaves the damper for a while and attacks them. He presses them with a wall. He says now you will see your friend damper dying in front of your eyes and witness how much he screamed but how poor he died. The damper gets faint and sees a dream in which he sees the ladies who were with his mom at his birth. They ask the damper to meet his dad, meaning the lord of the night. As the damper moves ahead, his dad is standing in front, and he starts encouraging him, saying you should trust yourself, my child, as there is my, the lord of the night's blood in you. The enemies like Gorka can't do anything to you. Come on, my child, have courage hearing all this. The damper's heart starts beating, and he also gets powers. He gets up and starts fighting, with Gorka being passionate. He flies and punches Gorka. He punches Gorka a lot and is dominating him, and Gorka has become weak. The damper has come in his real passion, and Gorka also comes in his real getup, knowing his strength was terrible. Now they both start fighting. They were attacking each other while flying. And as the damper holds Gorka's neck with his hands that were soaked in blood, he starts burning. The damper uses both hands and ends Gorka. He turns into smoke and blows away. Now, when the three were leaving, a door opened in front of them. When they moved inside, it was an ancient room in which there was a boom belonging to Damper's dad, as well as his dad's picture. They found out there was not just one Gorka, but there were many like him. The Damper says no problem, now I have become Gorka's enemy, so I will not spare any Gorka. After it, they move on with their mission to end all the Gorkas and their companions. Here ends this story.